Welcome back to the channel. I wanted to do a uh, update for the Toro AZ850 tires. Uh, this is uh, a long-term review. I waited a while to give you my final results or like my final view on these tires. Um, originally, these tires were recommended by um, another YouTuber, Work Play Drive. Thank you very much for the recommendations. I was always skeptical about the cheap tires, as they call it, the cheap you know, offshore brand tires. And I've never heard of this company, the Toros. Um, you can see their tires on the websites, you can see everything like that, but you, until you actually see them up in person and, you know, get a feedback from other people, you don't really have a, a grasp of what these tires are capable of. So, I took the leap of faith. Um, I went out and bought a set of these tires. And I have to say, hands down zero problems with these tires hands down excellent quality these replaced the Goodyear tires that were on this car the um, 245 45 20 the three season high performance tires that came on these challenges which were garbage absolutely garbage the Goodyear tires that came on this car yes they were they were oh they were good tires um, but for a an everyday car, it's a really poor choice. Um, I would never recommend these tires, as far as the Goodyear tires, for a everyday car. They were too soft, they picked up a lot of nails. They only lasted about 17,000 miles on the car with moderate driving. I'm talking about, you know, a few Mexican pavement uh, launches, um, lightly aggressive driving. Nothing, nothing out of the normal as far as for any of these, you know, what these cars are capable of doing. No road course, no drag strip, nothing. Just to and from work every day, 17,000 miles. Um, now, the car has currently 24,164 miles, so you figure that's about 7,000 miles I put on these Equatore AZ850s. And from some of your other videos, some of my other videos that I posted, you can see the, uh, Mexican pavement uh, uh, <laughs> uh, my uh, pavement painting techniques on some of the other videos and I'll cut to some of the other clips of what these tires look like now and even after that type of abuse multiple times um, these tires are just impeccably good I'm telling you they are a perfect compromise for everyday driving performance driving um, also I went through a full winter so you know rain sleet snow nothing too crazy with snow obviously this is a, a, a rear wheel drive car big tire it's not gonna really fare well in snow no matter what you do to it except if you put a dedicated snow tire so this car wasn't driven in, in anything above about an inch or two inches of snow um, so that's you know, it's not a dedicated snow tire. So lots of buying this cheap tire was, ah, they're gonna last whatever, you know, whatever. And they're gonna be garbage in, in about a year or maybe, you know, 5,000 miles or so. Well, tell you the truth, it ain't happening. They, they, are, they are a robust tire. And I believe that these tires are rated for SUVs also. So you have a, a thicker construction or like a heavy duty construction that means it can hold more uh, load or weight load or per tire versus like a regular car tire so don't 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 let that scare you off either um, other things to note very low road noise obviously with any type of tire like this you're gonna get some sort of road noise on on certain types of pavement but nothing nothing to be concerned about as far as yeah not nothing to be concerned about they are quiet as a mouse and, and this car is quiet as can be so you can hear everything and this is basically a stock challenger with some muffler deletes and everything like that so even with in four cylinder mode and you're at 80 miles an hour um, it's quiet as a mouse other things to talk about directional stability doesn't want to wander on top you know on the highway or anything like that and note too is that I went with the upgraded size of 275-40 versus the 245-45-20s. So it is a wider tire than factory. 
So if anybody's concerned about it fitting on a stock Challenger charger or anything like that, no, zero problems, zero rubbing, zero issues. And remember, this is also has the Super Track Pack suspension, which is lowered three quarters of an inch from the factory. What else? Also, uh, wet weather conditions. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Uh, zero anxiety problems driving this car in the rain. The, the good years that I had on the car, the three season tires, which is the high performance version of those tires, not the all season that some of these cars come with, they were marginal in wet weather, heavy wet weather. And forget about winter time. And if, if the, if the uh, temperature dropped below, I'd say under 40, no, I'd say 30 degrees or so, those good years became like hockey pucks. They were unbearable as far as it's scary to drive in any, any kind of cold weather environments. So overall, two thumbs up on these tires. Anybody looking for tires for these particular cars or any of their cars, the Toro AZ850s are a wise choice. They are extremely inexpensive, but the quality is there. As a note from my other videos too is that as a quick note, you can tell with the quality of the tire also is that when they balanced these wheels, they didn't have to put a ton of weights on there. They centered the tire within the rim, you know, with the dots and all that kind of stuff, and they put a minimal amount of weights on these on these tires to make them true, which is fantastic. You can't say that about some other manufacturers out there where they have to put a ton of weights to get the tire just right in spec, even after putting the dots to the you know, I don't know all the specs to that. You, you look at somebody else's video for that. But I had an excellent tire guy who used a touchless tire machine, who knew what they were doing, who did a load balance, all that kind of stuff. They moved the tire around uh, a few times before they actually put weights to get the tire exactly where they wanted on the rim. And for guys who are doing this and who are upgrading tires or doing any kind of tire work, make sure you go to a good professional that knows what they're doing. Um, and you can, it's going to cost a little, bit, a little bit more. Don't go with the $24 special, uh, especially for these types of rims. These are the hyper black wheels, the 20 by 9 inch wheels for any or any of those, uh, any any wheels that are are in that spectrum. Uh, steel wheels, no problem. Just throw them on steel wheels. You know, you don't care who you who you actually touches it. But with a good aluminum wheel, take the time out, research the place that you're going to, and. You know, pay a little extra money, get the tires done right, and they will last forever. And also, I, I'm not a nut about rotating tires, so some of the video that I'll cut to and you'll see on the thing is the front tires were actually in the rear, which have had a lot of abuse, but you can still see they are not beat up and chunked out. They're, they're I mean, I, I hammered these tires, and they were no, no cupping issues, no weird nothing no weird stuff like sometimes you get with the high performance tires and the and when it's a cold season you'll get like a thumping noise or the tires trying to like flex and mold and and trying to because it gets so hard it gets kind of out of whack these tires have zero problems they're hot and cold medium weather s s snow sleet whatever you can throw at them um, they give you a nice audible tone when you're coming to the limit into a turn they just don't break loose that's a good feature for tires if you're looking for um, and it's a good everyday tire. Now, granted, tires like this with the tread wear, and I don't know what the tread wear is, I'll put it up on the video with the tread wear and the actual specs of the tire, but for tires like this, man, this is a great balance. And and again, these are not full race tires. Don't, you know, don't go on a track and say, oh, wow, these tires suck because you're on a track. These are not designed to be on a track. These are designed to be on an everyday car, everyday road, you know, road going car. And that's exactly what I wanted for this particular car because I drive this car every day. So 7,000 miles, Toro AZ 850s, absolutely the best. Would recommend them, would buy them again. We'll put them on other vehicles also. And the price you cannot beat. So I think once this stuff catches on, they're probably gonna jack the prices up on these tires because I can't see how the I can't see how it boggles my mind how cheap they are, but the quality is there, and it just shows that other manufacturers who are making tires at this quality are charging four times the price of of these types of tires are just ripping us off. 
So that's my thoughts on the Otoro AZ 850s. Thank you very much. Have a nice day. Bye. Thank you.